What up? And welcome to another episode of From the Script to the Screen. And what up? Welcome back. Like I said, another episode of From the Script to the Screen, the My Hero Edition, Season 6. Episode 6 of the season is out. Action-packed action episode. To anybody, again, my disclaimer early, make sure you've seen the episode before we discuss anything. Definitely going to be spoilers. But again, dope episode. Shout out to the studio. Great animation. Uh, this is finishing off volume 28. Chapters, the rest of chapters 273. Then chapters 274, 5, and 6. Almost ending the volume, but not just yet. But basically... And like I said, um, I enjoyed this episode a lot because it expanded some of the panels, as always, in the manga. But basically gave us, it fleshed it, fleshed out the scenes more. You got to see an expansion of the things going on. I felt like you could understand some of the scenes more. So it was dope to see. And as you guys already know, we're already, everything is already unfolding. They're already getting into it. You know, Shigaraki's already up. And he's called Makia to come to the scene. We know that everybody's scared of Makia, so we know that the heroes are up against it. One of my favorite panels this week was... Like I said, Makia has already woken up. And something that was cool about this episode is that we did get to see a bond from the villain side. We know that twice was somebody that was eliminated in a couple in a previous episode, and she's somebody he he was close with Toga, so Toga is somebody that took this kind of personal was really affected by it. So we see that she kind of decides to take it out on the heroes a little bit and starts to eliminate some of the heroes on her own. And at the same time is when Makia wakes up. That's why I like that panel because you do kind of see the size difference of what Makia actually is. So we'll see what actually happens when he gets to doing what he wants to do. But of course, like I said, the reason for that is because Shigaraki is awake now. And he's basically powered up to the max at this point. Throughout the fighting with Endeavor, we see just how much he's changed, just how powerful he is. In a previous episode, we saw how powerful his, his uh, decay quirk has become. It's able to basically decay anything that's touching. But at the same time, we see that he's able to control it. And he's able to pick certain things that he doesn't want to decay. And also, speaking of Shigaraki, something that we do see, again, shout out to the studio, is, like I said, just how much of an upgrade and just how much of a threat he's, he is now. Now that he's like all for one, and he was basically given the quirk, he's able to stockpile and that's why we see so much of an upgrade physically and with quirks to himself. And something that I thought was cool was a flesh out of the panels, like I mentioned, was Shigaraki's use of the search quirk and how he was able to basically locate Deku and Bakugo because he, he receives the information up until the quirk was stolen. Seeing how she was um, associates with Deku, she knew exactly where he was. And that's why he was able to get to them so fast. But again, shout out to Gran Torino. We know it's a joint effort. He was able to get them out of danger in the nick of time. But we see just how much, like I said, of a force Shigaraki is now. Another one of my favorite panels this week. Like I said, the anime episode fleshed out some of the panels. And also, uh, we get to see just why Endeavor is considered the number one hero. We know that the heroes are ranked by more things than just power, but here we do see just how much power Endeavor does have. Um, his flames are very powerful. We see that he's able to do a lot of damage to Shigaraki body-wise, and what it would do to somebody that was, you know, of, of normal stature if he was to lash out and use that much power power. So it was pretty dope to see. But at the same time, we see just how strong, like I said, Shigaraki is. Um, he is, at this point, considered to be all might, like Endeavor says, just because of how physically powerful he is. Something that's displayed throughout the episode, as you see. 
and we see just how much the heroes are against it. At the same time, you know, we understand why he's something that somebody that needs to be taken care of because not a lot of people are actually able to even compete with what he does. So that's why he's such a serious, um, such a serious threat. And that was one of my favorite panels of, of the week. Like I said, finishing off the volume, ending the episode. That's something that I always mention. But um, you guys see just how much important it is and how much, again, of a threat they are is the Nobus. We saw that with some of the most powerful heroes, how much, uh, I would say, four near high-end Nobus gave just to the heroes. So imagine now, at this point, when we see about five or six of them and what the doctor calls near perfect or near high ends, basically just as powerful as the ones that they fought in the basement in the lab. So again, we see how much the heroes are against it. It's desperation between <laughs> Gran Torino, Bakugo, and Deku. We see just how nervous they are when they see that the that the Nomus are up. And we see that Eraser, who is somebody that's detrimental to controlling these Nomus, is hobbled also. So the heroes are up against it. Um, and we'll see what happens, man. But dope episode. Season 6 is underway. Peace.